Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making French onion skillet chicken. Alright, I'm starting out on a large skillet I have preheated, and I'm going to add in two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to start to melt that down. And I have two large onions I sliced up. We're going to get them in here. We're going to start them to saute in here for a few minutes so they start to soften up and turn translucent. All right, now that I let my onions are cooked for probably about four or five minutes and are starting to turn brown, I'm going to add in some beef broth. I'm going to add in about a cup. I'm going to turn my heat down to about medium low and I'm going to allow these to simmer in here in the beef broth for about a half hour. I'll keep an eye on the heat and that should allow the beef broth to cook down and for the onions to caramelize. Alright, now that my onions are caramelized, I pull them out and set them aside and I'm melting some butter in the same skillet and I'm going to get my chicken breast in here. Now my heat's down on low for right now. I'll be turning it up. And I'm going to fry my chicken for about 7 to 10 minutes per side and I will check it with a meat thermometer to make sure at 165 when it's done frying on the second side. I might have to adjust the time a little longer. And I'm going to season each side with some salt and pepper as it fries. Alright, my chicken's done frying. It took about a half hour because it was pretty thick. If you want to shorten that time, cut your chicken breast in half. And with my skillet here, I still have a little bit of butter. I'm going to sprinkle in some cornstarch, about two tablespoons. And guys, real quick, I want to give a shout out to one of a YouTuber's channel. It's called In the Kitchen with Pen One. It's Penny and Dave. They make some really delicious food. They're new at YouTube, fairly new. Um, check out their channel. I'll put a link down in the description bar. Tell them Rick sent you. And uh, let's help them out. All right, now I'm going to stir around this cornstarch in the butter. And my heat's set down on low. Now I'm going to add a cup of beef broth in here. And I'm just eyeballing this. I'm going to add a little more. I'm going to go for about two cups because I don't want this super thick. Just a little bit more. It's a matter of eyeballing. You'll get the right consistency and that looks good about there. Now I'm going to get my onions back in here. Stir that around to blend your onions in. All right, I'm going to add my chicken back in here. And guys, this big boy right here was the one that gave me the longest time to cook. Because you can see how thick it is. And I'm going to add this chicken broth, or juice from the chicken back down in there to help thin and out our gravy. Now I have some sliced provolone cheese. Let me separate these guys out a little bit. I'm going to put a slice of cheese on each one. If I can get it out of the pack. Whoops. And I'm going to allow my chicken to simmer here just for a few minutes to melt that cheese. Alright, I left this go for about five minutes. My cheese is melted. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh chives for some color and a little extra flavor. Alright, just ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up the plate and see what we got. Guys, I also went ahead and made some scallop potatoes to go with this. Let me get in here and give this chicken a try. And Dexter isn't too talkative today because we're having chicken. I'm going to cut in with some cheese just so we get cheese on that. See, my chicken's nice and moist, cooked through. Get a little bit of that French onion soup gravy mix. Chicken's moist, well seasoned. You get that provolone cheese on top. You get that beefy gravy with the onions. That's really delicious, guys, and it wasn't that hard at all. All right, there you have it. French onion skillet chicken. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.